Hey, are you rebels? It's Laureen, and here in this video, I'd like to continue our tarot tutorial series and just talk to you a little bit today about the suits of the minor arcana. Let's set the majors off to the side for a while, all those beautiful trumps, and we'll do those in another video. But for today, I just want to go through very simply for you what these little suits are all about. And let me remind you what the four suits are that we have, okay? And I'm just going to use the aces from Pixie's commemorative deck. So we've got swords, wands, pentacles or coins, and cups. And in different tarot decks, these can be called different things, okay? But um, for purposes of this exercise, we're gonna use what's shown on the Rider weight. So let's start with the masculine suits. We've got two masculine suits, two feminine suits, okay? This does not mean that uh, these are suits only for men or suits only for women. We're talking about the masculine, assertive, aggressive side versus the female, more receptive side, okay? And you're gonna see the differences in the suits. And you can see the differences in the hands. Let's just look at the aces. Do you see how these are the two masculine suits? Swords and wands. And they're grasping that sword and that War, that want okay now look at the feminine suits see how they receive and this is how you can tell the difference okay receiving the coins receiving the cup okay let's talk about what these four suits are all about starting with our fabulous suit of swords masculine very very assertive very very quick suit okay if you think about a sword what is a sword used for just think about the symbology let's not make this difficult a sword can be used in many times for battle okay so a lot of times the sword suit is just talking about conflict it can also be about the mental realm about what we think and trust me a lot of times what we think turns into battle doesn't it because not everybody agrees with us okay so we have a masculine suit when you see swords show up in your readings now I want you to think this is what I'm thinking or what's going on in my thoughts or what might be causing a conflict, okay? Swords, let's just keep it simple for right now. Now let's do the wands. This is the other masculine suit that we have. Again, you can see the hand grasping here and this is also a very fast, very swift moving suit. Um, the wands is all about what you do or take action on. It's what you stand by, it's what you value, it's what you lust after, so much so that you would take action upon it. So when you see wands show up in your readings now, I want you to think, what is this person standing by? What does this person value? What does this person enjoy so much that they're willing to take some type of action on it? What kind of action are they taking? Okay, that's the suit of wands. Now let's talk about the suit of coins. Okay, the suit of coins, actually this is the slowest moving in the deck. I probably should have done cups for you first, but this is the slowest moving um, suit in the entire deck. It's associated with earth. And this is all about being receptive. This is about what you have. And it's real easy to think what I have. I mean, it looks like a big coin, doesn't it? It looks like money. So this is what you have in your world. And anytime you see the coins, I want you to think about your physical resources. It could be time, it could be money, it could be home, it could be health, okay? When you see the coins, I want you to think about what's in the physical. And then finally, we have the suit of cups. And in the suit of cups, we are talking about intuition and emotion. I mean, gosh, look at this card. Doesn't it just, just talk about all of that gushing, overflowing spirituality? I mean, we've even got a dove right at the top going all the way through to this beautiful fresh water. So the cups are about relationships, about connection to self, about your spirituality, about intuition. So when you see the cups, you're gonna notice how relationships build in the tarot. Okay, each one of these is also associated with an element. For instance, we have the swords that are associated with air, air, swift thought, okay? Just think about the way that air moves and what air does, and that's going to help you to interpret your swords. Then we've got the wands. Wands are about fire, okay? Fiery, passionate, action, um, spark, okay? That's what I want you to think about when you see wands. Then we have, let's go to the cups because it's just a little, that's a little bit um, faster than the, than the coins are. Cups are about water and that's really easy to remember. I mean, my gosh, we've got pouring water right out of the cup. And if you think about a cup and what does a cup do? A cup is a vessel, right? It's a vessel for that water and it's receiving that water. So this is all about water. It can be flowing, it can be deep emotions. It can be um, still waters run deep. Okay, and then we have our slowest moving, most practical down to earth suit, 
and that is coins. Coins is associated with earth. So when you see the coins, I want you to think about the way that earth might move, okay? It's very slow. Um, everything that happens in Mother Nature happens in Mother Nature's timing, right? We can want very much for it to be fall or winter right now and not summer, but there's nothing we can do about it to speed it up. And that's what I want you to think about when you see the coins, okay? They're going to go as slow as the earth is moving. Very practical, very grounded, very salt of the earth, okay? So these are the four suits that we have in tarot. Now, I can tell you, let me tell you a trick that I use all the time, okay? That really is helpful in terms just of our consciousness. What you think is going to lead to what you feel. What you feel in the world is gonna to lead to what you take action on. What you take action on leads to what you have. Okay, so again, when we're thinking of the suits, this is another easy way to think of the suits. We've got the mental realm, what I think. This is, produces a lot of conflict. The way that we communicate and what we think can produce conflict. I want you to think about that. That thought produces a feeling within us. That feeling is all about the cups. Cups are all about the feeling and the way that we connect with other people then based on our thoughts and what we're feeling. What we're feeling leads to what we take action on. You know, if I'm not feeling well, I'm probably not going to take action. If I'm feeling really great about something, I'm probably going to do something about it. And then what we take action on the world leads to what we have. I have a phenomenal path of consciousness spread that I want to share with you in another video that is really going to help you get associated with all of the suits of tarot. So you can get, get a better feeling for how this shows up in our conscious world. In that way, so now we know what the suits are all about. Let me just show you one more thing before I go as I lean into my desk here. Quartz, okay, the court cards, these are humans. This is what they represent, the humans, and they are the humans that are the exalted leaders of their particular suit, okay? So this is the exalted leader, the king of pentacles, the king of earth. How fast do you think he moves? Very calculating, very, very slow, right? But the courts come to give us advice. So I want you to think about them in that way. And then we have the majors, and the majors are all about the spiritual archetypes in life. So when you see the majors, I want you to think, well, what am I learning? What do I have to gain from this that I'm kind of adding to my soul's toolkit long term, okay? This is how you look at the suit. So we have the suit of spirit. That's the major arcana. We have the human suit, which is all the courts, although they are rulers over their individual suits, excuse me. And then we have the swords, wands, cups, and coins. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope that this helps you with your reading. So now when you're looking at it, don't just think about intuitively what do I see, but take what you're seeing and then kind of apply it to the suit. And this is how you're going to know um, what's showing up for you in a reading. So for instance, if I just go and I pull something out now and my friend says, how are things going at work? Well, <laughs> You look bored, maybe you're not making enough money or you don't think you're making enough money at work. And why do I say that? Because coins is all about what I have and this person looks very disappointed in what he has, okay? So maybe what's happening at work is you're very disappointed about what you have. Let's do the same thing with a different card. How are things going at work? Wow, things seem to be going very well. It looks like you have a lot of achievements and accomplishments. You have been really filling your cup. So things at work are going very well for you. You're feeling self-satisfied. You are feeling um, spiritually connected and motivated to the work that you do. So this might be something that you do that you really, really love and feel passionate about. Okay, cups, that's how I feel. Let's ask one in another suit. Let's talk about the wands. What's going on at work? Wow. Looks like you are really up against a challenge. You've got to defend something that you really believe in. So you are taking actions right now. Let's just say you're working on a project and you have a particular thought about the way that's going to go. And this is what's showing up. Look, it even looks like this is what I stand by and you all have these different ideas and values and things that you're passionate about, things you want to take action on, but this is what I'm going to stand by and this is what I'm taking action on. So how's it going at work? It looks like you're defending your actions. All right, what, one more. One more, we've got the last suit here. How are things going at work? Oh, this is gonna be interesting, right? Because this is all about the mental realm. Well, you, can, you seem to be keeping yourself in a place where um, 
your thoughts are overwhelming you, where you are unable to see a way out of the situation at work. But really, this is just something that are thoughts in your head. These are just thoughts. They're not really, she's not actually bound by those thoughts, is she? Loosely bound here. There's a path for her to walk out. And quite frankly, there's all of these resources available to her. She has all of these ideas that if she picked up on any one of those ideas, she could slice off that blindfold and these um, binds and just walk right out into work, okay? So she's not seeing her thoughts, which means you're probably not seeing clearly. You're not thinking clearly. You're holding yourself back with your thoughts. Does that make sense? Do you see how we took the image that we were looking at and we're just reading a story, we're just telling a story, but then we applied the suit to help our guests to have something accurate, something that meant something to them in the moment. And trust me, when you go and you shuffle these things, now you're gonna look at those cards very differently. You're gonna say, oh my gosh, I know exactly what that means, right? So this is how we build on the practice of tarot and reading tarot. I wanna thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you again very, very soon. Have a good one. Hey, thanks for staying past the end. This is my shameless plug. If you would like to learn more about tarot, no books, no memorization, just learn to read intuitively and practically in a simple, joyful, and really common sense way, why not join my interactive group mentoring workshop? You learn at your own pace, but you are never alone. I'd love for you to learn more. Just visit intrototarot.com. I hope to see you there.